Welcome back to my office, but now with an actual office plant. And today we're particularly going to talk about this one over here. Let me explain. The last update, I talked about the USB IC, or I refer to it as the U9, because that's the position on the PCB, to go defect. And it was like a 0.5% defect rate going through the whole production. And we decided to stop the production. We have to wait and figure this out. We don't want there to be any chance for you to receive a keyboard and it going defect on arrival, defect after a month, a defect after a year. We want to make sure your keyboard lasts for multiple years, right? That's also why we have a four year warranty on our keyboards. I'll just start with the first thing, just to get it out of the way, we solved the problem. Yeah, <laughs> Production boy. continues. I don't know what exact new updated delivery schedule is at the time of recording, just like last time, but I'm pretty sure it's about the same because the impact is still great stopping that production and now trying to get back into production. So now let's talk about what happened and what the problem is and what this means for your ATHE. So start of this week, we had Yilun, TY and Yuli go to China, go to the factory. And for two days, they've been testing, prodding while Rocky in Germany also testing, prodding on his PCBs and all trying to find out what is causing this problem. And eventually they found out together with the factory what the trigger event for the problem is, but we couldn't find out the condition yet. So the trigger event is apparently when the daughter board, which is here connected to the main board, is powered, meaning there is a USB-C cable on there that's giving power to this daughter board and then is connected with this JST connector here to the main board in a particular way, there's a chance it might damage the USB IC pins. And when those pins are damaged, it permanently short circuits, the keyboard doesn't go on, it doesn't communicate, it's nothing. You replace that IC, it's fixed again, it works again. Now you should imagine that during production, this trigger event of the daughter board being powered, connected in a particular way to the main board, happens at least three to five times on each board and you have thousands of these boards going through that process. So every time it happens, there's a chance that it might damage the IC. So the first thing we did is do a trial production run, changing the production process so that it would not have a power daughter board while connecting. And we did that with about 750 keyboards and we had 0% effects. So that was great news. We now understood what triggered the event but we still had a problem. Whenever we tried to connect this ourselves in this particular way, and we tried to force break that USB IC, we just couldn't systematically reproduce the defect. We just couldn't break it. And now recently we also found out what that condition is. When we reviewed the whole production line and we reviewed all the ESD protection, we found out that the easy wristband, table, and the computer was not in sync with each other. And because of that, it exposed the whole environment, creating that chance of ESD damage. And then there was another thing, that particular way of connecting I was talking about, that's about these pins on this JST connector has pins for data, ground, power. What always needs to happen with these connectors is it needs to connect to ground first. Now, when you connect a USB-C cable, it will always connect ground first because the first pin that's exposed on that plug is ground before it connects with anything else. But on these kind of JST connectors, all those pins have the same length and the connectors have also the same position, meaning that depending on how you connect it on, different pins will be connected first. And if ground is not connected first, it just increases that chance and it exposes it more to ESD damage. So that's what was happening during production. So what does this mean for your ATHE? Don't worry. Thankfully, PCBA is fine. All the IC parts are fine. Our firmware stuff is fine. Our design is fine. We just ran into a classic ESD problem. Even if at home you have your daughter board connected with a USB cable being powered and you start connecting to that main board, you need to do it a thousands of times and have a specific environment where a spark could take place for that chance to be there to break that USB IC. It's not going to happen. And in either case, it is best practice. Never power the device when working on the electronics. It's also why it's best practice for having ESD bands or grounding yourself 
when working on electronics. It's the same story here. Now, all that said, we are still going to retest all the assembled keyboards, all the pre-assembled modules to make 100% sure there's no defect in there and that we didn't miss anything. And that process also takes a bit of time, but at least then we can make sure we're 100% confident that we've completely ruled out everything and you get the best keyboard that we can make on your desk. That was it. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.